Hi, all of you. Myself, Dr. Anand Muchandi. Today we are going to discuss about the Udara Uras as well as Prostha Marmas. These two Udara Uras as well as Prostha Marma can also be considered under the Madhya Shari Rigata Marmas. So here the Madhya Shari Marmas. The first one is Udara as well as Uras Marmas. Those are 12 in number. The first one is Guda, Tatra Vata Vachu Nirasanam, Stulantra Pratibadham, Guda Nama Marma, Tatra Sadhyo Maranam. So, here there is a explanation regarding the functions of the Guda as well as the location. Here, it is attached to the Stulantra or the large intestine and it does the functions of the expulsion of the Vata as well as Vacha. Vacha means the flatus or the uh, sorry, fecus uh, or the mala and vata means the vayu. The nirgamana of the fe fecus as well as the flatus is done by the guda marma or the organ guda. And if any injury occurs to this marma, there will be the sadhya marana. It is sadhya pranahara marma. The sankhya of guda is one. Shadanga anusara it is udara uras marma. Rachana anusara it is mamsa pradhana. Hence it is mamsa marma. Parinama Anusara it is Sadhya Prana Haramarma and Pramana its measurement is 4 angular in length. Now the regional anatomy or the structures underlying the Guda Marma. Those are anal sphincters as well as levator ani muscles as well as hemorrhoidal vessels. Here anal sphincters, levator ani muscles. Anal canal as well as rectum, that is the end part of the large intestine, and inferior hemorrhoidal vessels and nerve plexus around the anal region. The next one is Basti Marma. Alpa Mamsa Shunito Abhantartha Katyam Mutra Shiv Bastir Nama Tatrapi Sadhyo Marana Mashmari Vranadrute Tatrapi Bhayato Binnena Jeevati Ekato Binne Mutra Stravi Vrano Bhavati Sirtu Yatne Nopa Kranto Rihati. So, here Basti Marma is having Alpa Mamsa as well as Shonita. There will be less Mamsa as well as Rakta in this Basti and it is in the Kati Pradesha as well as in the uh, in Mutrashaya it is considered as Basti and it is also one among the Sadhya Pranahara Marma and if any injury occurs to this marma, there will be the formation of Ashmari or Vrana. And if it is on both aspects or if it is on the two aspects, there will be no chances of the person to be alive. That means if there will be the Cheda or there will be the injury on both the aspects of the Basti, there will be the death, sudden death of the person. And if any Injury occurs only on one side. Ekato bhinne. If any injury occurs to one side, there will be the mutra strava or ejaculation of the mutra as well as there will be the formation of rana. There will be you no know, death of the person. Next, its sankhya is one. It is udara uras marma and according to Rachna, it is snayu marma and parinamana sara. Already I told you it is sadhyo marana or Sadhya Pranahara Marma and its length is 4 angular. The regional anatomy is it is it can be compared to the urinary bladder of the modern science of the excretory system. This is the region of the Basti on either aspects. Now the Nabhi Pakvashayur Madhe Sira Prabhava Nabhi Tatrapi Sadhya Maram. This is also one among the Sadhya Pranahara Marmas. Pakvashaya or Madhe. It is in between the Pakvashaya and Sira Prabhava. That is surrounded by the Sira. That is known as Nabhi. And the Sankhya is one. It is Udara Uras Marma. And as it is Sira Prabhava or surrounded by the Siras, it is according to Rashna, it is Sira Marma. And Parinama Anusara, it is Sadhya Marana or Sadhya Pranahara Marma. And again, its length is 4 angular in length. This is the Nabhi. 
next the regional anatomy rectus abdominis muscle as well as its sheath inferior epigastric artery and vein umbilicus according to modern science it can be correlated to the umbilicus here yeah, umbilicus is a normal scar in the anterior abdominal wall formed by the remnants of the root of the umbilical cord of the antenatal care or the during the embryogenic life and its position in the anterior median line opposite to the l3 and l4 vertebras the next one is rudaya sanayor madhyamadhishtayor samashaya dwaram satvaraja samathadhishtanam rudayam tatrapi sadhya eva maranam it is in between the stanas or in between the breast and it is at the amashaya dwara that is the cardiac end of the stomach here there is a presence of cardiac or the heart and it is predominantly formed by the sattva raja and tamasa or tamogunas and it is also one among the sadya pranahara marma if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the sudden death of the person here the location of the rudaya on anterior chest wall <coughs> and its sankhya is 1 shadanga anusara it is udara uras marma and rachana anusara it is sira pradhana and sira marma parinama anusara it is sadya pranahara marma and its length is four angula regional anatomy again heart and its vessels next स्तनमूल स्तनोरदस्थ द्वयंगुल उभयत स्तनमूले तत्र कफपूर्ण कोष्ठतया म्रीयते सो इट इज अधो भाग ऑफ द स्तन एंड टू अंगुल ऑन उभय दट इज ऑन ऐदर सैड ऑफ द स्तना और ऑन ऐदर सैड ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट बिलो द ब्रेस्ट ऑन टू अंगुल लेंथ दर इज अ स्तनमूल दट इज रूट ऑफ द stanamool or root of the memory glands of the breast and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the kapha purna koshtataya mriyate there will be the accumulation of kapha in the kosta and there will be the death of the person sankhya 2 in number it is udara uras marma and rachana anusara it is sira marma parinama anusara it is kalantara pranahara marma as there will be the filling up of the kapha in the costa and after that there will be the death of the person hence it is kalantara pranahara marma and its pramana or the length or the measurement is two angula and here these are the stanas and stanamula that is two angula below the stana on both the aspects it is the region of the stanamula the regional anatomy that is the base of the lungs nipples lie in the fourth intercostal space 10 cm from the mid sternal line pulmonary vessels of the lungs bronchioles of lung tissue intercostal muscles vessels and nerves the next one is stana rohita stana chuchukayo rudham dvayangulam ubhayata stana rohitau tatra lohita purna koshtataya vriyate so here two angula above the stana chuchuka or the nipples on both the sides dvayangula two angula ubhaya that is two angula on either side above the stana chuchuka above the nipples there is a stana rohita marma is present and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the lohita purna koshtataya mriyate so here the person will die after getting uh, filled after getting the stomach filled with the rakta or the lohita so the sankhya is two in number shadanga anusara it is udara uras marma and rachana anusara it is mamsa marma and kalantara pranahara marma according to effect and its pramana is half angula in length and here it is a presence of stana rohita that is two angula above below the stana chuchuka or the nipples on either aspect and the regional anatomy of this stana rohita are pectoralis major and minor muscles and intercostal muscles superior vena cava descending aorta pulmonary vessels and 
plexus, intercostal vessels, phrenic nerve as well as vagus nerve and intercostal nerves, lymphatic as well as lymph glands, bronchus, clavipectoral fascia and third intercostal space. Now, apalapa. Amsa kuta yor adhasthat pasho pari bhaga yor apalapo nama tatra raktena puya bhavam gatena maranam. So, below the amsa kuta or the shoulder region. That is the acromion process of the scapula and above the pasho. And there will be the presence of apalapa marma is present. And if any injury occurs to this marma, there will be the Rakta puyatva that is the blood leads to the pus formation and there will be the death of the person. The, the sankhya of these marmas are two in number. Shadanga anusara it is Udara Uras marma. Rachana anusara it is Sira marma. And it is Kalantara pranahara as Rakta gets into the puya bhava and the person will die. That is Kalantara pranahara marma. And its length is half anguline length. This is apalapa on either aspect. The regional anatomy is axillary artery, first and second branch, or the second part, axillary vein, pectoralis minor muscle, superior thoracic artery, acromiothoracic artery, and lateral thoracic artery, cords of the brachial plexus. Next, apastambha. Ubhetro raso nadio vata vahe apastambo nama tatra vata purna kostataya kasa shwasa bamcha maranam. So it is present in the form of two vata vaha nadis. Vata vahe nadio that is it is present in the form of two vata vaha nadis situated on either side of the chest. Ubhetra uras on either side of the chest. And if any injury occurs to this marma, there will be the Accumulation of vata in the costa and that leads to the kasa as well as shwasa and ultimately the person will die. Hence it is also kalantara pranahara marma. The sankhya are two in number. Shadanganusara it is udar uras marma. Rachananusara it is sira marma. Parinama it is kalantara pranahara marma and its pramana or measurement is half angula in length. Here it is apastambha. And regional anatomy, bronchus, bronchial artery and vein, left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery, phrenic and vagus nerves. Now comes the prushtamarma. The prushtamarmas are the marmas which are on the back side of the person are known as prushtamarmas and those are chaturdasha in number, 14 in number. The first one is katika taruna. Tatra prushta on shamubayata prati shroni kanda masini katika tarune tatra shroni takshayat pandu vivarno hina rupascha mriyate. So on both sides of the vertebral column prushta on shamubayata on both sides of the vertebral column where there is a union of katika palasti as well as shroni shroni falakasti that is sacro ilia joint. There is a marma called as katika taruna. And if any injury occurs to this marma, there will be the shonitakshaya or raktakshaya and there will be the pandu vivarna, there will be the whitish discoloration or there will be the change in the complexion and the person will die. So the sankhya are two in number, it is one among the prushta marma and it is the combination of shonika Shroni Falakasti as well as Katika Palasti. So here it is Asti Marma according to Rachana Nusara and Kalantara Pranahar Marma and its length is half angular. Here it is a Katika Taruna on the sacro ilia joint on both sides. So the regional anatomy or the structures underlying it are obturator external and internal muscles. Origin of semitendinosis, semimembranosis, biceps femoris, adductor magnus. These all on the ischial tuberosity. And internal iliac as well as its branches and common iliac vessels. Posterior aspect of the ilium, sacroiliac joint, 
that is trigger sandhi sos major minor gluteus maximus and iliacus muscles superior gluteal vessels and nerves next kukundara kukundara parshve or jagana bahir bhago prashtha vamsham ubhayata kukundare tatra sparsha jnanam adhakkaye cheshtopaghatascha so both sides of the vertebral column parshve or jagana bahir bhago prashtha vamsham ubhayata that is both sides of the vertebral column lateral part of the gluteal region lateral part of the gluteal region there is a kukundara marma is present tatra sparsha jnana madakkaye cheshtopaghatascha if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the loss of sensation of the adhakkaye or lower extremities and there will be the deformity of that lower part there will be sensor and motor loss of the lower part of the body so the sankhya two in number it is prashtha marma and it is one among the sandhi marma parinama it is vaikalyakara marma hence there is no harm to the life of the person and its measurement is half angular in length this is kukundara next is the regional anatomy gluteus maximus as well as medius muscles superior and inferior gluteal vessels and nerves sciatic nerve first and sac second sacral nerves greater sciatic notch and sacroiliac joint shuni kanda yo rupariya shaya chadano parshvantar pratibaddho nitambho tatradhakkaya shesho dorbalyacha maranam so here shuni kanda covering ashaya that is the ashas beneath the hip bone those are the mudrashaya as well as pakvashaya adha pakvashaya and that covers the ashayas as well as above the shuni kanda it is the auricular surface of the pelvic bone so there is a nitamba marma and tatradha kaya shesho dorbalyacha maranam if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the kaya shosha so there will be the emaciation of the adha kaya or emaciation of the lower limbs as well as there will be the weakness and ultimately that leads to the death of the person again there are two in number prashtha marma according to rasna it is asthi marma parinama anusar it is kalantara pranahara marma and its pramana is half angular in length this is nitamba on the inner aspect not on the external on the inner aspect it is covering the mutrasha as well as adha pakvashaya the regional anatomy gluteus maximus medius and minimus and piriformis muscles thoracolumbar fascia superior and inferior gluteal vessels and nerves lumbar plexus and sigmoid colon अध पार्श्वांतर प्रतिबद्ध जगन पार्श्व तीरे ऊर्ध्व च जगन पार्श्व सी तत्र लोहित पूर्ण कोष्ठतया ब्रीयते सो हि पार्श्व मीन फ्लैंग्स एज वेल एज जगन मीन द हिप सो ऑन द लैटरल आस्पेक्ट एज वेल एज अपर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द जगन प्रदेश दट इज द हिप जॉइंट ऑर द हिप रीजन ऑन द लैटरल एज वेल एज सुपीरियर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द हिप दट इज द मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द फ्लैंग्स एज वेल एज द हिप there is a marma called as parshva sandhi and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the death of the person after getting filled with the lohita purna koshtataya mriyate there will be the blood accumulation in the kosta and that leads to the death of the person so sankhya two in number shadanga anusar it is prashtha marma rachana anusar sira marma परिणाम इट इज कालांतर प्राणहरा एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट इज हाफ अंगुल इन लेंथ हियर इट इज द रीजन पार्श्वसंधि एंड द रीजनल एनाटॉमी अबोव द एल थ्री एंड बिलो टी लेवन वर्टिब्रा द एरिया इन्वॉल्व द प्लेस बिटवीन द फ्लोटिंग रिप्स एंड वर्टिब्रल कॉलम एंड सॉस मेजर एंड माइनर मसल्स renal vessels testicular vessels and gonadal vessels 
branches of the abdominal aorta and IVC and ureter. Next one is Bruhati. Stanamula druju bayataha prushta unshasya bruhatyo nama tatra shonitati prati pravrutti nimittai rupadravaihi mriyate. So, on either sides of the prushta unshya or vertebral column, there is a bruhati nama marma stanamula druju bayataha. That is at the same level of the stanamula or parallel to the stanamula on the back aspect. Stanamula or on the chest region or the anterior aspect and on the back aspect it is bruhati and if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the shunita ati pravrutti there will be the severe blood loss and that leads to the death of the person the sankhya 2 in number shadanga anusara it is prushta marma rachana anusara it is sira marma parinama anusara it is kalantara pranahara and its measurement is half anguline length these are the bruhati marmas on the back aspect and regional anatomy intercostal muscles and lattice muscle dorsi muscle porta hepatis and structures passing through it branches of the celiac trunk hepatic artery and splenic artery azygos and hemiazygos veins next amsafalaka prushtopari prushtamsham ubayas trikas kan Strika Sambhadde Amsa Falake Nama Tatra Baho Ho Swap Shosho. So it is located in Prushtha on the posterior aspect of the thorax on both sides of the Prushtha Unsha on the Prushtha Unsha Ubayata that is on the both aspects of the vertebral column related to the Trika Pradesha. Here Trika Sambhadde Iti Grivaya that is a meeting point of the ribs vertebra as well as scapula trica means three so the place where the ribs vertebra and scapula near the griva or the cervical region that is known as amsafalaka tatra bahu ho shosho if any injury occurs to this marma there will be the bahu shosha The Sankhya, 2 in number, Shadangana Sarait is Prushta Marma, Rachanana Sarait is Asti Marma, Parinama it is Vaikalakara Marma. There is no harm to the life of the person and its measurement is half angular in length. Amsa Falaka, on the, here the meeting point of the ribs as well as scapula and vertebral column. This is a scapula, this is a vertebral column. And on the anterior aspect, it is related to the ribs. Regional anatomy. Subscapularis, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, intercostal muscles, levator scapulae, rhomboidus major and minor muscles, part of brachial plexus, axillary vessels, scapula and ribs. Next, AMSA. AMSA bahumurdva, griva madhe, AMSA pita, skandha, nitamba vamsu, nama, tatra, Stabda Bahuta. It is on the Bahu, Murdha as well as Griva. Here Bahu means the upper limb. Murdha means head, Griva and neck. And Amsapita. Amsapita is nothing but the scapular region. And Skanda means the shoulder. There is a Marma called as Amsa Marma Tatra Stabda Bahuta. There will be the stiffness in the Bahu or stiffness in the limb if any injury occurs to this Marma. So the Sankhya 2 in number Shadangana Sarait is Prushta Marma, Rachanana Sarait is Snayu Marma, it is Vaikalekara Marma according to the effect. So there is no harm to the death of uh, life of the person and length is half angular in length. Here. This is Amsa Marma. So, it is the junction of the Bahu upper limb, Murdha, that is the head, Amsa Feta, that is the scapula region, as well as Skanda, it is shoulder region. It is the junction of all these structures. 
the regional anatomy shoulder girdle supraspinatus infraspinatus trapezius and triceps muscles subscapula supraclavicula and spinal accessory nerves coracoacromial coracoclavicula coracohumeral and glenohumeral ligament scapula humerus and clavicle bones acromio clavicula joint and here this completes the madhya sharira marmas or udara urus as well as prushta marmas thank you for watching the video and in the next video we are going to discuss about the jatrudva marmas